Well, Grandpa was not a comedian, really. A lot of people think he was a comedian. No, he was just a guy that said funny stuff. Just, just naturally said funny stuff. One time he was mowing his lawn out in front of his house <coughs> in Mountain View, Arkansas. The lady pulled up and asked directions into town. He told her, and she said, you know, you look just like Grandpa Jones. He said, well, if you see him, tell him I feel sorry for him. <laughs> doing hee-haw one time and they kept wanting him to shorten his song so they have more time for the modern country songs rather than the old time stuff grandpa was doing finally grandpa got sick of it he just went up to the mic and went is that short enough <laughs> <laughs> and one thing one other thing hey, that mule makes me think of the grandpa he liked hats you know he always wore an old hat he said, where'd you get that hat, David? And I said, well, I get them from a place called Miller's Hats out in Houston, Texas. He said, ah, there used to be a hat store here in Nashville. And at the end of every summer, they'd have a hat sale of the straw hats. And the paper would read, an ad would read, prices so low you can afford to run them through your mule and sprinkle them on your roses. <laughs> the hats. Are we ready? I'm ready. Let's see. Okay, we're going to do a, a little medley of tunes here from Eck Robertson. Eck Robertson was the first guy in uh, June 30th, 1922, to record any kind of country music. And he went up to New York, dressed in a Confederate uniform, and went into the RCA Victor Talking Machine Company and said he wanted to make a record of fiddle music. The man at the desk had no idea what he was talking about and just kind of tried to get him out of the room. He's, and Eck said, let me just play one for you, show you what I'm talking about. As it turned out, Eck Robertson was one of the best fiddlers that's ever lived. And uh, he played, he recorded six songs in that session in New York. We're going to play three of them. Arkansas Traveler, Fork of Deer, and Ragtime Annie. Here we go. dedicated to Eck Robertson. Now I want to dedicate this to Carlux Stuxbury, as I, some of you were here earlier. Uh, he used to be here every year. He, he was in the band right here, in the Appalachian band, and he always played the mouth bow. That's this thing right here. And clearly, the oldest stringed instrument in the world, just a stick with a string on it. Doesn't get a lot simpler than that, except for this. That gets a little simpler. <laughs> the paper bag. <laughs> I learned to play the paper bag from an old fella in that little community of Sodom, North Carolina. So, oh yeah. So I want to do a song for you I wrote about the drovers. The drovers were very important to this part of Tennessee. 
Uh, they would drive, some people would raise the animals in this part of Tennessee, drive them all the way down to Asheville, then from Asheville all the way across Girton, all the way down to Greenville and Spartanburg, all the way to Charleston. Can you imagine driving 10,000 pigs from Norris, Tennessee to Asheville to Charleston? Well, they did. And then there's no song about those guys, so I thought I needed to write one. Here we go. Well, it takes three months on the drover's road to get these hogs to market. Oh, I'll come back with a wagon load and a few coins in my pocket. Trading hogs, china dishes, coffee guns and salty fishes. I may never know what bitch is. All I do is barter. Well, it's fare thee well, my own true love. Fare thee well, my darling. I'm leaving here to Charleston. I'm leaving here this morning. Trading hogs, china dishes, coffee guns, and salted fishes. I may never know what bitch is. All I do is barter. Well, we turn our corn into sour mash. Sour mash to whiskey. It'll keep them warm on winter's night. Make them love and frisky. Trading hogs for china dishes. Coffee guns and salt and fishes. I may never know what bitch is. All I do is barter. Well, the drover's work is never done. He's going or he's coming. I'll drive these hogs to Charleston. Ten thousand hooves of drumming. Trading hogs, china dishes, coffee guns and salty fishes. I may never know what bitch is. All I do is barter. So when I first started playing guitar, I, uh, I had this album of Doc Watson. And it was a live album, and I remember on it, before somebody would take a break, he would say, Pick it, son. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to hear those words so bad that I'd sit at home on the edge of my bed, and I'd play rhythm guitar, and then right before I'd take my break, I'd go, Pick it, son, and then I'd take my break. <laughs> well, David and I met because uh, he came to perform at my middle school. And my teacher had me get on stage with him perform in front of 800 people my own age, and it scared me to death. But David was so kind and gracious, gave me one of his albums. And um, we've been playing together since 2001, actually. And through my association with David, he introduced me to Doc Watson. I got to get on stage with Doc, and I got to hear the words, Pick it, son. I can die. Happy man. Yeah. So let's do one of these uh, flat picking guitar tunes that I heard Doc play. It's called I Don't Love Nobody and Nobody Loves Me. But it's a happy sounding tune, I promise. <laughs> 